Howdy, 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 my beautiful Aries. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to be getting into your monthly tarot reading, darling Aries, for July 2022. All right. So if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, Aries, be sure to let me know in the comments below. So that's how I know I'm talking to some humans, honey, from across the screen. Um, as well as give this video a like and subscribe. It's completely free to do, and it helps out this tarot channel a lot, uh, Aries. As well, darling, be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, Aries, because that's how you make the most out of these general tarot readings that you see on youtube is by catering to the energy of your chart all right so let's just get right into your tarot reading here today aries all right so we're going to be doing three rows here your first row is going to be in regards to your career your second row is going to be in regards to your social life platonic life romantic relationships uh family you know all of that right all encompassing and then in your last row we're going to be getting into general predictions for you we're going to be clarifying each row but we'll be unpacking each one first all right so let's take a look here for you aries let's see what's happening for your career and financial situation here for the month of july 2022 darling all right it seems to be decently solid here uh aries we have the knight of swords the tower energy with the ace of wands coming in here for your career all right i feel like you guys need to get some new inspiration here uh aries all right make the month of july the month for you of where you tear down old old ways of making money to create new ones i feel like that's what spirit really wants to uh drill into you at this current point in time darling all right because there is just like this push for spirit where it's just like untapped potential is what i hear all right untapped potential it's like you're asking your spiritual team you're asking the universe for certain manifestations in your life but the thing about it is the universe can provide your spiritual team can manifest for you uh aries but they don't want to manifest into these projects that you're currently working on they don't want to make you more comfortable at this job they don't want you to make you more comfortable at where you're at they want to elevate you with something that's more aligned with what something that you feel passionate about all right so if you're wondering why you've been at a stalemate when it comes to your career and finances that might be why darling all right so let's take a look in regards to your social life now here aries all right darling let's see what's going on there <clears throat> seems to be pretty good all right darling ace of cups knight of cups temperance energy here all water cards uh honey aries my goodness ace of cups knight of cups with the temperance energy here have patience at this time for my singles that uh my single aries right now you guys have been craving love you've been extremely patient and trying to wait for the one i see darling if you subscribe to that darling all right and i see for july for many of you as single aries you're going to be getting into those really solid romantic partnerships for others of you if you have been trying to manifest like a new best friend if you've been trying to bring forth some type of uh how would we say that was some crazy lightning aries but anyways yeah it's like you guys have been trying to ask to have a relationship in your life to be more fulfilling some you're just trying you're trying to bring forth connections in your life that bring forth more emotions for you that fulfill you more all right i feel like for you right now aries there's like something that has been just like dead in the water uh is what i hear for you aries that has just been like lacking and it's kind of reached its expiration date for quite a while now all right um for some of you guys it could be a situation that is improving but for many of you guys i feel like it's going to be like you get out of that emotionally just draining relationship in your life by uh welcoming in new energies all right darling so now let's take a look at some general predictions for you guys right now capricorn why am i calling you capricorn aries let's let's get into some general predictions for you aries see what's happening for you guys here queen of swords four of swords with the three of wands here i am willing to put my money on this here uh aries some of you guys are moving on when it comes to your emotions to a relationship in your life all right again could be romantic could be i don't care what type of relationship this is it's like you are finally choosing to uh disconnect yourself aries during the month of july from just some type of relationship that just has been very unfulfilling for you um very emotionally taxing for you at this current point in time uh aries because i feel as if you are wanting more you're starting to see signs that you are worthy of love from other sources all right i feel like this comes in hand in hand with that knight of cups energy that's going to be coming in for you at some point in july aries is just this sense of where it's like you realize like how unfulfilling emotionally your relationship some relationship is in your life 
uh, Aries, you realize this by this new energy coming in. You're just like, wait a minute. I'm worthy of so much more than what this person is providing me here. Like something wakes you up to realizing uh, your value uh, a lot more here for you, Aries. All right. So let's go back into your career. Let's start clarifying the situation here with this Tower Energy, Knight of Swords, and Ace of Wands here. As I was saying beforehand, Aries, for you guys here... I really get this sense that spirit is just like sitting here waiting for you to, uh, it's like this, uh, Aries, you're tr like, uh, this is going to be a very specific message here, but it's like spirit wants you to, to be more authentically yourself. You're trying to, you think you're trying to do something to be successful at because that's what you think your family wants. That's what you think you will be successful at here, right? But it's lacking passion. All right. You need to push yourself more, take more risks, uh, Aries in the month of July, because it's like the more that you lean into something that's passionate for you, that's where the success lies for you and stop trying to chase success through following someone else's blueprint for you. All right. You, again, I keep on hearing like the message of just like untapped potential for you. Aries right now where it's just like your spiritual team is just sitting there your the universe is just sitting there wanting to provide for you wanting to give blessings in your life here Aries but they don't want to give blessings with these situations that are just not you here right they don't want to give you a raise at this nine to five cubicle job because they know that's not where you truly where your heart truly has a passion for all right so now let's start clarifying this here king of pentacles coming in here ace of pentacles coming in here and then the seven of swords coming in all right see that's where this is where the that pentacle financial money comes in here darling all right that's where it finally comes in here you guys finally wake up aries to realizing the secret this is the secret sauce that's what's been sabotaging you this entire time is by not leaning further into something that you personally feel passionate about all right by you finally starting to do whatever it is maybe some of you guys have been wanting to do something with your art but you know this phrase of the starving artist right you don't want that to be your story but you starting to be an artist and trying to make your art that full time darling you realize that starving artist is not going to be your story all right it's just absolutely not and that's where the abundance comes in again it's a sense where it's just like you don't realize aries like how much on the other side uh, of things uh, from the spiritual side of things are wanting to create for you but they just are very like they are very sure about not helping not manifesting for you in situations that are not authentically you uh, whatever that sounds like for you guys all right aries getting into your second row here darling we have back into your social life that knight of cups ace of cups with that temperance energy stepping forward to you darling all right Again, I get like the sense for you, whether this is in a romantic way of like an offering of love, Aries, or whether this is just in a platonic way or where you you are going to be befriending or getting closer with a relationship in your life to a more intimate level here. All right. But you're going to be getting a lot of emotional fulfillment this month. But it comes after like it comes in to replace some type of emotional stalemate that I have feel that I feel like is currently going on with some relationship in your life, uh, Aries. Again, I get like the sense of just like something just being dead in the water like there's just like beating a dead horse really i don't know why i'm thinking about all these dead references i guess it's like a dead relationship here basically because there's just like no emotions anymore this makes me think about aries like you know like those like um loveless marriages or just like marriages that are only to get like the people are only together because of devotion but there's no passion there that's what i really get with some type of friendship or some type of connection that you just are not getting what you need from that connection i don't know but it gets replaced with that new energy clarifying this we have the page of swords the page of pentacles or yeah page of pentacles with the hierophant energy here for you aries all right this is someone noticing you and communicating with you. I feel like they already know who you are, Aries. All right. They already know who you are. Um, but it's going to be this month that they actually start start taking action towards getting to know you more. You already, They already know you for sure. You might know them or you might have crossed by them on some level, but I don't feel like it's really much past like a surface level thing here. But there is definitely some type of new relationship that develops very quickly in the month of July. It's like you start out as a friendship and then very quickly y'all know everything about each other by the end of this month here. Um, 
Aries, I don't know why I wanted to say Aquarius. I know I've been saying like Capricorn and all these other signs for your reading, Aries, because I just make mistakes sometimes because I'm human. But um, I don't know why I wanted to say Aquarius. Like, so maybe it's someone that's an Aquarius or has strong Aquarius energy on some level, darling. All right. But that's what I get for your social life. And then Capricorn, there we go with the Capricorn again, Aries. And then Aries with your general predictions here, three of wands, four of swords with the queen of swords coming in here for you. You guys are putting, you just, I feel like for you guys are just cutting off things that you've known for a while that you needed to cut off. All right. I just heard signing the divorce papers, darling. So I don't know if some of you guys are planning on a divorce. <laughs> Aries, I don't know what's going on here. Or maybe you're signing your two week notice here. You guys are just choosing, like you're seeing certain situations in your life and you realize that you cannot continue going on with those relationships for the long term anymore. So you're choosing to cut them out for your own inner peace. Yeah, you might be struggling a little bit um, due to cutting them out from a logistic standpoint. It's like, yeah, you might have love for this person on some level. They might make it easier for you to live where you're at, but you still have to cut them off for your own peace of mind. All right. You can no longer ignore the red flags or the, the elephant in the room with the situation aries all right so let's start clarifying those cards oops Ow. not me hitting my funny bone honey all right let's start clarifying these cards here aries oh now it's coming up my uh six of cups coming in here two of cups coming in here ten of swords and then the eight of Ow. not me hitting my again darling hello uh, the Eight of Cups coming in here in the back of the deck, uh, Aries. So first and foremost, again, really speaking about emotional detachment here. All right. Emotional deta detaching yourself from a... I don't know if I'm... <laughs> I don't know if my mic's gonna be catching this uh, thundering that's the storming that's going on right now, honey, but I love it. Um, with this Ten of Swords, Two of Cups, Six of Cups here, again, you guys are cutting off some relationships in your life that you have for a history with, but just because you have a history with them doesn't mean you have a passion for them anymore. I feel like you got some of you are no longer are cutting off access from uh, yourself from access from certain family members, like they're no longer going to be accessible to you anymore, uh, Aries. Like you're just making yourself less accessible to things all right you're making yourself less um accessible to relationships that really don't provide anything for you anymore because i feel like that's what's been the main problem for you is like so many outside so many things outside of yourself have been bringing you um has been robbing you of your peace and i think that's what you really need for the month of july is just like some peace i feel like you've been in, in this turmoil for quite some time now uh aries all right so let's just start getting some oracle cards here tortoise card coming in here you are too fragmented aries so do what you need to do to get back together do what you need to do to get grounded again darling and that's exactly what we were just talking about right so we don't really need to unpack this card too much you have the octopus card practice shape shifting by altering your physical appearance and mannerisms with the peacock card let yourself stand out and be noticed this is literally the definition of what we are just tapping into for your career uh aries where it's just like spirit wants to provide for you darling but at the same token they're not going to manifest for you until you're more authentically yourself here the more that you change all right the more attention that's going to be garnered for you all right especially if you do something for social media business wise the more that you start being authentically yourself rather than doing what you think is going to be successful aries that's where the success actually starts happening for you all right let's get your moon oracle cards for this month as well darling this has been a pretty good reading here, Aries, I must say. Uh -uh. Some tough love, but also some really good things that are happening for you. Uh -uh. All right, so we have the first quarter moon in Sagittarius here, Aries. Believe in your good luck. All right, believe in your good luck when it when it comes to you taking the risk and following in your passion rather than following what, with what you think will be successful, darling. Believe in the good luck with that. All right, you have the full moon in Scorpio. Breathe through the tension. All right, breathe through the tension here. And I feel like this tension comes in through you being, more, again, more authentically yourself, honoring what it is that you want to do, Aries. All right, again, I, this is also... <clears throat> 
I get like the sense for some of you Aries. I don't know why, but I mean, obviously this full moon in Scorpio, but this is like hitting a little bit more than it ever usually does. You guys might be dealing with a Scorpio or having a Scorpio come into your life. Uh, last quarter moon in Libra. Make time for the self love, darling. And that's what that is. It's like y'all make time for the self love and that Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups energy that we were talking about earlier. Uh, Aries, that self love, like that connection comes in after the self love. Or it's like during that process of the self-love. Anyways, Aries, I love you so much, darling. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this monthly tarot reading for July 2022. All right, darling, if you want to, if you did enjoy this tarot reading, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. If you want to book a private reading with me, Aries, my website's linked down below. Simply Vulcan dot com next to my social medias tiktok and instagram if you'd like to connect with me on a more intimate level is just simply valka as well same as your darling but um until next time my beautiful aries thank you so much for allowing me the privilege to connect with you this evening and i hope i can connect with you sometime in the near future bye darling